Good afternoon, everybody. It's the day after Valentine's Day. It is a Friday, obviously. Uh, we got all of our parts here ready to reassemble the 85. New uh, wrist pin bearing. Uh, my piston kit did not come with one. Uh, our Pro Circuit R304 stainless shorty. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, our other bike here also has an R304 shorty, or uh, R304. Uh, silencer, but it's a little bit different. Uh, I'm not. I'm honestly not sure of the difference, but uh, mine's. Um, it's also stainless. It's the stainless shorty. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I lo I think this one looks a lot nicer. Uh, it's like almost brand. I paid fifty dollars for it. It's almost brand new. Uh, gorgeous shape. And here we also have the uh, Kawasaki dealership manual. This has everything, man. Like the whole bike. Here you go, general, everything. And yeah, we're going to use this in case there's any questions. But yes, here we have the, like I said, wrist pin bearing. Over here we have the rest of our parts. You know, everything, we got kind of bikes everywhere right now. Got four bikes in here. Uh, there's my 85. Uh, yet, uh, it was yesterday. No, the, yeah, actually it was last. Last night, um, what I did is I put the, uh, the back end assembly on brake, you know, tensioner plates, etc. You know, just to, something to do. I had absolutely nothing to do. Um, and yeah, so yesterday I was all ready to go. As you can see, I actually have my piston all unwrapped too. Here is a Vertex 48.5 millimeter piston, Teflon coating. Now the reason I went with Vertex is because they're aluminum pistons as what in the, uh, um, the, the bore, the cylinder is aluminum as well. So the expansion and contraction with the heat and uh, the cooling down of the motor, they they do they uh, they do it at the same rate. Um, here in here we have the um, here put it down here. We have the new 2009 KX85. Uh, oh shit! Nope. Here's the head actually. This is a pro circuit head. Uh, it has a couple little gouges in it right there. Nothing too serious. I paid 150 dollars for it. It's like brand new. It, it was uh, re-sleeved. Oh yeah, here's my new one. Uh, here we got the, uh, I put the uh, the power valve in there. The uh, thing in here is gorgeous. Still, still got the cross marks. It was replated. But uh, yeah, uh, you, know, you can tell it was serviced. How nice and clean it is. You know, so I'm thinking with this brand new uh, power valve, uh, jug, piston, basically, well it is a whole top end. I think we're going to be ripping, man. Uh, we, and I have a hot rods crank in here. Uh, you can see here. Um, there you go. You can kind of see it in there a little bit. Yep. Hot rods. Awesome, man. But, yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty stoked here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of can't wait to start tearing on this motor, man. Uh, probably won't start it tonight. Uh, I mean, I'm going to make sure I get it at least mostly together tonight get it running tomorrow but overall the bike uh, it's an 04 KX85 uh, has an Excel rear rim uh, I believe stock front rim uh, hot rods crank it will have a brand new top end which is like I said an uh, 0985 cylinder uh, pro circuit head brand new uh, power valve if I can actually remember where the hell I put that fucking thing but it's whatever. Yeah, it's not really needed at the moment. But yeah, we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start this build here, and uh, yeah, we'll see in a little bit when I get some progress going. 